Hi everybody, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kit. So I'm here to show you some amazing happy mail that Susan sent me. She was really, really, really kind to email me and ask uh, for my Amazon wish list so she could send me some happy mail. And you know, you never have to send me anything to you know to comment and say you're enjoying the videos or that you've learned something is really why I'm here on the channel but um, you know anything you do send is so greatly appreciated because it helps um, you will find uh, new things that you might um, want and also uh, it's great for me to try out new things and I'm just so grateful for um, Susan sending me these things so um, if my voice sounds a bit uh, croaky I did a concert yesterday and there was a lot of singing involved, um, so I'm kind of just getting over that, and it's early in the morning as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get started. So most of the stuff came um, all in one go on Wednesday, yeah, and it's currently Sunday. And then one other thing came on Friday. So... I don't know where to begin. Um, <laughs> I'll show you these two things first. So both of these came actually on separate days. So these came on Friday and these came with the other things on Wednesday. And I had seen these everywhere in like WH Smith and stuff. And I had always wanted them, but um, I just thought, I'll, I'll see how much they are on Amazon and I'll put them on my Amazon wish list. And I think these ones were about eight nine pounds these ones were about seven and then on amazon they were about five pounds each and i thought no i'll i'll put them on my wish list because you know you are saving quite a lot and um i use fine liners a lot but i i did really really want the pastel ones so i thought i'll put them on and um these are amazing i've tried them out but i thought i'd try out a couple of colors with you now um the great thing about these is that all the colours are different. Probably the, the turquoise one and both of the sets are quite similar, but that's to be expected when they're different brands. So these ones are the Stadler um, pastel colours and you get six. And these ones are the Stabilo pastel colours and you get eight. So, um, you know, considering they're both pastel colours, you know, it's great that none of them repeat apart from the one that's very close. So with these, I believe you can pull this backwards and um, let's, uh, stand it up. I don't because I've had an occasion before where it has snapped off. It's really annoying. But I do take these off because they're just um, the tags to put when they're on the shelves. So these ones are actually all of the lighter colours. So I'm not... I might do all of them, it depends, but um, I'll kind of zoom in at the end, but actually I'll zoom in now, because might as well if I'm switching them out for you. But these ones are absolutely gorgeous, and I love both of them. I have fine liners of the Stabilo ones, purely because um, when I was... In year seven and stuff, we needed pens a lot more for um, drawing and colouring in stuff uh, for school. So I think we'd gone to Ryman's and the fine liner pack of 20 had been on sale for about £10. And the the Tripless fine liner, sorry, the, the Stadler colour ones, which are the felt tips, had also been on sale for £10. So I think I... I've got those, but only recently I found that they did the, the pastel ones, and I thought that because these colours, I mean, I use pastels a lot in my colouring anyway, um, I thought they would be absolutely perfect for my colouring books, and I'll probably end up using them for accenting and stuff, which is really, really great. So these are all of the Stadler colours. As you can see, they're very light and lovely. And then we have the, the Stabilo ones. So some of these colours are slightly darker. So I'm going to try and match them up for you. So, sorry, that's not a very good angle, is it? Um, 
there we go so we have a yellow here which you don't get in the other set and if you have the Stabilo um, what's it called highlighters then these colours are very very similar so these first six colours are pretty much the same colours as the um, highlighters and I do have the highlighters I love them I don't have the thick ones though, I have the thin ones and I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called. Um, so then we've got pink here. And I will zoom in at the end, but I thought it would just be quite nice to, to swatch these with you now because I have already swatched them, but not very well. I just did it on a scrap piece of paper and then he's doing other stuff on it, so um it's kind of just a blot page for the stuff as well. So. so I guess the great thing about this one is you do get eight colours and actually on all of the um on obviously on Amazon they're pretty much the same price. So you know if you did want to get these it would be whether you want to get the slightly darker colours or the slightly lighter colours but obviously with the darker ones you're getting eight and with the lighter ones you're only getting six. And I really like that they included a grey actually because if you just had this set and you wanted to do some drawing, grey is a really nice colour to have um, instead of black because sometimes black can be a bit dark and drawing with grey can actually um, make the lines less visible. So uh, there are the colours. So I've actually overlapped here, so you can see, I'm going to zoom out now because otherwise it's going to be a bit fuzzy, okay, so you can see here that uh, these turquoises are the only ones that look similar, which I think is absolutely amazing, uh, considering there's 14 colours here, I, I thought there would be an overlap um, more, but Susan was so generous to send both of them, and I really wasn't expecting the other pastel ones when um, the other ones had come on the Wednesday, um, but yeah, you can see that these oranges are different. These pinks are different. This one is a tiny bit lighter. You might not be able to see that very clearly. But I, lo I love that the Sabale one include included an um, yellow as well. But I think the nice thing about the Stadler one is that it is kind of a colour scheme in itself. So um, even though it hasn't included the extra blue and yellow, uh, they're so gorgeous. So I really, really like this light blue that, that was in the Stabilo set as well. And then you can see the greys are different. So we've got a darker one and a lighter one. The purples are different, which is great. And the greens are different. So there's a really, really nice selection there with 14 colours. And both brands are excellent. I'd recommend both of them. Um, and yeah, they're gorgeous. So I'm going to show you the next couple of things. So... The next thing was these, which are Faber-Castell grip pencils. But these ones are called the glitter grip pencils because where the grips are, it's actually glittery. Now, I put these on my whistle list because I was kind of intrigued because when I was very, very young, I had gotten bought my first set of 24 classics, which somewhere I still have. They're absolutely tiny now, and I think I lost a couple of colours on the way. Um... But I had those, and then my aunt and uncle for, I think, my seventh birthday or something had bought me the 24 set of Faber-Castell Grip Aquarelle, which are the uh, water-soluble grip pencils. And again, somewhere, I still have them. But I was intrigued to see what these would be like, because these are still grip pencils, um, but they're slightly different. Uh, and from working with them, I think the formula is slightly different, and... They're not water soluble like the other ones, um, and they they are really really nice. And um, some of the colours do compare to other sets that I've got. Um, that these are a great budget pencil, and I I wanted to see the difference between these and the classics. And really, they they are amazing. Now I think you get twenty colours in this, and it comes in this really nice box. And the lovely thing is, is that you get a tin. So there's no mucking about with um, trays um, or having to put your pencils in a tin. Um, I mean, the other um, pencils, which I'll show you in a minute, I 
I put them in cases anyway because I have them, but if you wanted just um, a really nice tin for them, you've already got that. So these individually do come in trays, but um, they all stay in here really, really nicely, so I'll, I'll probably keep them in here. Um, so you can see here that I've actually written on the ends of these, and what I did with these pencils is I went through and compared them to uh, pencils I already had so that when they run out I can use these so needless to say I've got lots of spares which is absolutely great um, but I'll probably be using these on their own anyway because I absolutely love this colour palette right here um, so you can see there's a lovely range of purpley colours and pinks this one's an individual colour because you can see there's nothing written on here I love the inclusion of this, this is a neon pink and actually it's a really really good neon colour sometimes neon colours aren't um, great or the formula isn't good but this doesn't feel that waxy so it's showing up a bit more purple on camera but it's really not that waxy and usually with um, prisoner colours well as we know with um, what's it called the the electric blue, I think that is a neon colour and the formula isn't great for that but these ones are actually quite oily and they're almost like a normal pencil. Okay, so kind of going through here, these ones are all comparable to um, other colours. So if you didn't have the classic set but wanted a smaller set, these would be great. And then these, I was so excited to see these in the set. So a gold and silver. Now, most times with gold and silver they're not great and these are fantastic they are amazing you wouldn't you wouldn't think that from uh, you know these these are budget budget pencils and um, they're absolutely amazing you can do anything with budget pencils really I mean if you're just starting out with coloring definitely recommend getting these or the classics or the eco pencils but you see that shine there I'm not sure if it's showing up that well but they're really really metallic and from looking at them they do have a slight glittery shimmer in them not that much but um, they're really really metallic more metallic -y than probably the Prismacolor ones maybe um, but the formula is absolutely great for these now I haven't sharpened any of these yet um, and you can see that they come with a really, really nice point. I also love with these that they're triangular. I wish um, more pencils in general were triangular because they have such a nice feel to them. And um, you can see the um, open end there. Now, these don't come with anything on them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, it really doesn't bother me because, as I said, I've labelled them anyway if they've got a colour uh, close to them. But I'm just so, so happy with those. They are absolutely amazing. And then on the second tray, we have um, slightly less colours. And these are kind of the basic um, starter set of colours. You also get this lovely, lovely sharpener, which opens up like this. And you can sharpen in there. And it's so, so good. The only thing I haven't figured out is how to undo it but I think you just have to open these probably no no maybe not I'll figure out how to empty it but um, oh you can take this off there we go let's take that off this was a lovely inclusion with the set I think because this is a great travel set you know if you just wanted to um, maybe underneath this tray put a rubber or something in you could just take this and um, it would be great so with the two sets together, you have a great, great selection of colours. It's absolutely great. These ones are kind of your more unusual um, like next in line colours, and then these ones are your um, great starter ones. So, my favourite colour here is actually this one, because it doesn't have a name on it, as you can see. And that's because it's really, really similar to Burnt Ochre, which is in the Polychromis. I've only compared these colours to my classics and my eco pencils, and and yeah, it's just it's just a gorgeous colour. And I wouldn't think that you'd find um, 
one like that necessarily in the smaller sets. But yeah, the, these pencils are so great and I forgot to show you the, um, you can probably already see them, but how these grips are um, sparkly. They've still got a slight bump to them, a slight bump. It's not as much as the normal grip pencils. Um, and I was thinking of putting the, uh, or, or in future wanting to get the, the bigger set of the grip pencils. I think it's a 48 set, but I'm not sure if the colours from here will repeat in that. Um, and I don't really, I think they probably do, and I don't really think I um, need them if I've really got these, because they, if they are similar colours, um, I'll just use the ones I already have. Um, and you can see here that I, I went in with a Posca pen to do the black, and it worked really well, it stayed on. And I went on with a black Sharpie on the um, other pencils. So that is those, and they are amazing. So thank you again, Susan. Oh, can't get this down now. They are quite fiddly to get down, there we go. So gorgeous tin and gorgeous packaging. And I can't wait to use these more. And I really wasn't expecting then to get these um, along with those. So these are the 48 set of the Bunt Stift colour pencils. Now when I put these on my um, wish list, I thought they were comparable to these eco pencils. Now this is going to be very confusing because the packaging is very very similar. I've just got some random other pencils in here. So what had happened was I had bought the 48 set of these eco pencils in uh, Spain in 2018 and I did think when I bought them it was unlikely that I'd ever find them again um, and I thought when I saw this set that they would be comparable and the great thing is is that this the colours from this set pretty much half of them match colours from the eco set and half of them match colours from the classic set so it's it's great in that sense that I have got um, refills now seven of the colours didn't match at all which is, which is great um, this means we have a few more and also the formula is slightly different with these so I haven't been able to find these ones anywhere so these are the ones that I originally got these are the Eco Lapikers I really don't know how to say this um, De Color, Color Eco Pencils so you can see that um, some bits are in a different language because that's from, they're from Spain but the um, picture is um, the same, the writing is just different and I'm going to compare the pencils for you now so here is an example of the eco pencil which is what I originally got this probably isn't the best example to show you um, so it's quite a dark pencil, I've got a light on it might work better so on the end we have Faber Castell yeah, this isn't really showing up, is it? It's because it's silvery and it's really hard. Um, Faber Castell, then the Eco bit, and then the FSC uh, bit, which is great. Um, and then we have the name in three different languages. So this one's Yellow Ochre, so it gives you the name, not a number. This is one of the colours that I didn't match up, and this is the new set that um, Susan bought me. And you can see here that it just has Faber Castell on it. So it doesn't have a name or a number. Again, that really doesn't bother me because um, I can, I've labelled them up and stuff. So that's absolutely fine. Um, and they're slightly different in terms of formula as well. So these are quite hard. But they're so lovely. And then these are smoother. They're kind of in the middle of the... the classics and the ecos are slightly close to the, the classic pencils um but they're, they're great so i'm just going to show you at the moment i've because most of them are refills what i've done is i've put the seven new ones in my case with all my favorite style colors and i've put all the others in a tin for my refills Sorry for the squeaky noise. So these are the colours that you get. Bar a few, because I'm going to show you them in a minute. 
it's a great, great selection for 48 colours. You can't go wrong. And especially, again, if it's a starter set, these or the classic pencils where you get 60 for about the same price, I think, would be a really, really good starter set. So you can see that a few are missing. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've labelled these up again. So um, the name signifies that it's an eco... Um, pencil in comparison and the number represents that it's a classic pencil comparison so um, I've made the system really easy so that I can use them at my ease um, and what I'm thinking of doing maybe is that we're going to go on holiday and stuff I don't really want to be taking many of my um, more expensive pencils so I think the pencils that I do take will definitely um, be ones that I use a lot like these um, and I'll probably I'll probably take a few other pencils, but um, I don't want to be taking a boy the whole set of um, Holbein's just because you know I if they got lost and stuff I'd, I'd never though you know it'd be terrible. Um, so I think what I'll do now is I'll show you the seven new colours. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love these so much. So, two of the colours I'm using right now um, are these two, and I'll show you the picture that I'm doing in a minute. I haven't done much on it yet, but so these two are two of the new ones. Let me just move these to get to my case. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you also get a sharpener with the set as well, which is lovely. So, this is my case for my favourite colour style stuff. I had to rejig everything, but it doesn't matter. So let me kind of just figure out where they are at ah, this one. I'll show you them all properly in a minute. Um, no doubt I'm going to forget one, but you know that's that's life. That'll happen. Uh, there's one over here somewhere. This one, and there were seven, so there's one more. It's always hard trying to find the last one, but um, I guess I can always look in my swatch book if I can't find it. Because some of them look so similar, it is hard to find them. Okay, it's definitely not there. Sorry about this guys. I should have thought about this before I um, did the video, but I didn't. Um, I think it was a reddish colour. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to look in my swatch book and find it because it's going to bug me if I can't find the extra colour. So what I've done in the swatch pack actually is I already had, oh there was another blue one, I'd already had the eco colours swatched out on this side and the classics swatched out on this side. So here I put the extra paper castell grip pencils, so that brown and the neon pink and the gold and the silver and then here I put the extra of the pencils that I'm about to show you. So there is another blue one. Let me see if I can find that now. Now I know that it's blue. Hmm, that is really weird. It should be here, maybe. Oh my goodness. Maybe I didn't take the blue one out. I should have done well I will find it but I can't find the other blue one to show you so I will just show you the colors now so just give me a minute so these are the new colors bar one because as I said I can't find it which is really strange um 
yeah so there's some gorgeous gorgeous colors here there's a great selection and um, these greens are lovely and this pink is slightly different to some of the others as well um, but these are the, the newer ones and they're lovely so um, it's great that there's some few extra pencils as well but it's great also that I have um, refills from my other pencils because I go through them fairly quickly um, so I use them quite a lot so and pretty much all my stuff is just um, oh there it is, that's the extra colour, it's actually a greeny blue colour there we go but yeah because my main medium is pencil anyway so yeah they're those so okay so this is the page that I'm working on um, it's from Fairy Celebrations by Clara Markova and it's this one and this is a, a big double page spread and this is part of um, Effie Colours, Colour Along for March um, and it's a hashtag all to do with um, colouring food and um, suits and stuff and because uh, I'd emailed her uh, about the Valentine's picture that I'd done and she'd put it on her video on her channel and um, she told me what the next one is and it's a great hashtag um, and yeah I started colouring this page with the two new pencils that I was mentioning, these two. And I also use them in conjunction with a couple of other browns from the Eco pencils. And my intention for this was to make this Ferris wheel out of gingerbread, kind of. So, um, see that I've coloured all of um, this bit. <laughs> And oil pencils work so well on this paper. And amazingly, Karma Cover is working on her fifth book, which is great, and something else colouring related. So, um, Colouring at V's has uh, done a video about that, and um, it's amazing. I, I can't wait for her next book. But yeah, it's a matter dull page spread. I might not get it finished. If I don't, I will see if I can just submit a, a whip. Um, because, you know, I've, I will have worked towards it anyway. Um, but I really wanted to set myself a, a goal, and even if I maybe only get this and a couple of other pages done for March, um, it will be worth it because this page is gorgeous. And I never usually set myself up to do double page spreads either, so um, yeah, that's great. But the pencils are working great uh, so far, and um, they they are amazing. So um, I'm just going to show you the other stuff now. She also sent the Animalium colouring book. Now, um, I absolutely love um, this book. My brother got the original Animalium book for his birthday quite a few years ago. Um, and we always enjoy, enjoy looking through it. And then he uh, got the colouring book just, I guess, uh, to go on holiday and stuff. And I was um, doing a bit of colouring with him and... Um, I'd recently got my present cards and stuff, so I was kind of uh, showing him some blending stuff, which he didn't really get into because he doesn't really like colouring. But um, you know, that's okay. Um, he likes drawing and stuff instead. But um, yeah, so I had always wanted this book, and um, he still has his somewhere, but I can't find it. And um, I, I I'd wanted it for so long, and Susan was so kind to send it to me. All the things she sent, I mean, I absolutely love all of them, and they're great. I, I, they're just amazing, and I can't wait to use them. Um, as I said, I'll show you the, the picture that I'm doing in a minute. But this was such a coincidence, because the other weekend when we'd been away, um, I'd been into a bookshop, and last time I'd went into the bookshop, they had this book. Uh, they're not going to have it next time when I come. And they did. So there's this book, which is the Botanicum um, book by Katie Scott um, and Kathy Willis. So this is the same lady. And uh, she they've done Animalium, Botanicum. Uh, they've done a dino Dinosaurium or something like that. They've done quite a few. Um, this is gorgeous. And I... I absolutely love this. This is going to be so great for referencing. But Katie has done all of these illustrations. 
and I'd really, really love them to do a Botanicum colouring book um, as well. But this has been out for a while, and um, I don't think they are. They've got a Botanicum activity book, but it's not quite the same thing. Um, it's got other uh, stuff to do as more for kids, um, you know, when they're younger and stuff. But it's so gorgeous, and this is a miniature version of the original Botanicum book. The, the, Normal books are absolutely massive. They're they're really really big, and um, and so it was such a coincidence that uh, Susan then sent this. So the Alan Marlin colouring book, if you don't know, is basically a series of um, pictures that they've curated, and um, there's information about the animal on the other side. Now the great thing about this for all of you marker lovers is that they're one sided, um, but you are sacrificing the information about the animal on the other side. If that makes sense and the other great thing is is that none of these pictures kind of come in in scenes so they're all um separate to each other so i might just do a quick flip actually can i zoom out a bit more no i can't so you might not get the full picture in because this book is about a four size i'm pretty sure um the paper is amazing and I've never really seen people do much um, in this book. I haven't seen it go around that much, which I think is um, a shame because it's really, really gorgeous and her style is so unique. Um, when I first uh, saw it, I'd seen it in, in the works. It's a shop in the UK that kind of sells stuff at discounted prices. And it was in there. It's not in there currently in the one closest to me but it may be in yours so if you do want to see if it's there I imagine it would be about four or five pounds I love the giraffe one it's so cute this is the one we've kind of done some uh, shading stuff if I find the book I'll show it to you um, but it's very longer. I love this one I when I had um and I borrowed Tom's book, I was tracing some of them and trying to do some watercolour. But now I have it in my own book, which is, which is great. Now if you don't like um, flies or critters and stuff, there are obviously loads in here because it's animalium. Um, but... You know, then maybe it wouldn't. Um, maybe it's not for you. But there are some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures in here. Sorry, I keep yawning. It's quite early in the morning. Um, so you have these habitat pages as well. So you don't just get animals; you get the animals and their habitats. Very good one is so cute. And the lovely thing about this is that you can. Um, search up what they look like because they kind of give information about all of them as well so if you didn't know what it looked like or you wanted to make it look realistic then you could and i'm just astounded at how many pages you get in here as well it's amazing there's the elephant from the front but it's absolutely amazing and uh, such a variety of pictures as well. Now, I don't know if these are the same... No, I thought they were the same publishers as the Botanical Wonderland book, but they're not. Um, so, yeah, um, that is everything. I can't quite believe the amount that um, Susan sent. So, I just want to give a great, great big thank you to Susan. You know how appreciative I'm... Um, I, I am, I mean, um, you know, when I email doing stuff, but I honestly can't believe it. You know, I never thought that um, this sort of thing would um, come about where people would just um, send me stuff just to be kind. Um, I was kind of just starting this channel to um, maybe give some tips and help. And, you know, I never thought my channel would get to this stage anyway. Um, and... I, I never thought that um, people would be so kind. So uh, thank you, thank you so much, Susan. I hope 
um, that if you've seen anything um, here, you know, it benefits you and maybe I can enable you because uh, that's always great. Um, and also, even if you do um, ask for my wish list, my wish list isn't there um, just for you to buy things for me, you know, that that's not... Um, what I intend it for. It's great to have anyway for if you want to see things that I'm interested in that you might also be interested in so you can be enabled as well. It's not, I'm, I don't put it in the descriptions of my video but um, my email is always there so um, and you know even if you just want to email me for a chat and nothing you know nothing to do with um, Happy Mail I just love to chat to you. Um, so yeah, as, as I mentioned in some of my other videos, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!